Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues, recoveries by the standards of modern medicine that can only be called miraculous, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is always a healing system, a regenerating system, a renewing system designed divinely to heal and renew and regenerate itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you, 844 236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Ingevity products you're advertised or recommended on the bright side, please call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Ask about joining the bright side Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a Ingevity business, earn thank you checks associated with having your own business, and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can call 866-735-2470 and sign up right, right off the phone. You can also purchase products off the phone, or you can go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got blog posts and news stories and videos, as well as all the longevity products, and a join the team link that you can click on if you want to start yourself a longevity business. Also want to encourage you to check out our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com, our truth transdermal C serum, truth transdermal C balm, truth retinol 5% gel, and our truth omega-6 healing cream, and now our new truth biomimetic mineral priming mist made with folic minerals as well as high aluronic acid and a little bit of lactate and amino acids, and that's it. Helps improve the spreadability, the ap application of our other truth treatment products, plus it helps facilitate the movement of the active materials into the skin and even into the skin cells. Folic minerals and folic acids are nutriating elements. They help feed cells. And if you're a farmer, by the way, or if you're a gardener, you might want to put folic acid right in your soil. Folic acid in the soil helps feed plants. Colloidal minerals are very similar to folic acid, the plant-derived minerals that uh, we have at Young Jebby are very the fulvic minerals that you find in uh, our truth biomimetic priming mist and in the soils for that matter. All right. So we have been talking about the skin. We've been talking about the skin for a while. I have a particularly particular uh, love for the organ called the skin. I've been studying skin now since 1981. Actually, 1982 when I started working for Blistex. That's a lot of years of studying the skin. And, you know, it's only been in the last 20 years, even the last 10 or 15 years, that we've really, really got to understand what's happening in the skin. We're still discovering new things in the skin. Yesterday we talked about the interstitium, the new organ that was discovered, this new organ that lived underneath the skin. You ask, how could the new organ be discovered? You think they'd figure out everything in the body. They've been looking and examining and dissecting human bodies for that hundreds of years, for a thousand years probably. Maybe more, since the Egyptians, if you want to go way back. So you think we would have known all the organs. Well, they just discovered a new organ inside the, inside the skin. And this organ is not really an organ. It's kind of a system. But the point is, is that these are things that, these are just, our understanding of the skin is kind of recent. Yet the products we all use are based in technology that's at least 150, 160 years old. But really, even, even goes back even further, the cream being invented almost 2,000 years ago. So we didn't really know about the skin when I started researching it, but 
man, we, there's all kinds of stuff going on in the skin as it turns out. So yesterday we talked about the health of the cell membrane, the outside part of the cell, the little coating on the surface of a cell. A cell is a tiny little blob. It's, you know, if you, if you had high school biology and you never really, never really studied biology, but just, you know, from high school or maybe college biology, you would think a cell is just kind of like a circle with stuff in it. No, it's not a circle with stuff in it. It's a little blob. And this little blob, just think a little blob of jelly, except it's microscopic, a microscopic blob of jelly. This little blob of jelly is just as blob-like as if it were jelly. It's a jelly-like substance. A cell is a jelly-like substance. And if you touch it, if you could touch it, you know, you, you touch jelly. It feels like jelly. And this, whole, this little jelly-like blob is coated. It's candy-coated like an M&M. And this, this coating is not just a mere coating. It's a brain. It's, it's a thin slice of, of brain-like substance. It's so unbelievably high-tech. It's like a computer chip, except it's living. It's like a computer chip, except it's flexible. It's like a, a computer chip, except it's way thinner than any computer chip. It's thinner, it's flexible, it's living. It has all kinds of properties, but it's an information processor, like a brain. You think this thing is important? Oh my God, it is the ultimate in importance in the body. We always say all diseases cell disease, but all cell diseases cell membrane disease. The, this little coating on the surface of the cell is like the cell's skin, and it's also like the cell's brain. It's a skin slash brain, and therein lies a clue to how we, or, or at least a, uh, a window into how we should be interpreting our skin. The membrane on a cell is the cell's skin slash brain. And guess what? The skin on our body is the same. It's analogous to the skin on a cell. Our skin is a skin slash brain. Scientists now call the brain uh, uh, the skin. I was just reading an article here. I'm trying to find it. Uh, I was just reading an article about the skin slash brain. Scientists are now calling the epidermis. Here it is. The epidermis is the third brain. We propose that the epidermis, which forms the interface between the body and the environment, could be considered a third brain as it contains multiple environmental sensors and the sensory information processing system. You want to rub cream on this thing? Are you kidding me? It's amazing that we can rub cream and all kinds of crap on our skin. It's a brain. The fact that we can rub cream on top of it just says how unbelievably, how brilliant nature is, how it can somehow protect this brain system, and it does it very effectively with the dead skin cells, with the stratum corneum. So the skin is a third brain. This, by the way, is from Dermatologica Sinica, dated uh, April 24th. I'm sorry, February 17th, 2015. So it's about two years, three years old. This, this is all some recent phenomena. So anyway, the skin is a skin slash brain, whether it's on your skin, on the outside of your body, or uh, it's the skin of a cell. Scientists call the skin in our body the third brain. And this uh, idea of the, of the membrane, this, our skin is kind of a membrane, a covering membrane. The idea of this membrane, and I'm saying membrane, mem slash brain, the idea of a membrane as a brain plays a major role in the health of our skin, whether we're talking eczema, psoriasis, dry skin, acne, where this idea of the membrane as a brain plays a major role in the health of our skin cell and in the health of our skin at the level we can see and at the level we can't see. That means dry skin. And that's how we started talking about this whole thing is about dry skin, which everybody has. And the reason we cannot deal with our dry skin, the reason we've got billions of dollars or at least hundreds of millions of dollars spent on moisturizing products and everybody still has dry skin. And we've got thousands and thousands of moisturizers and everybody still has dry skin. It's because we're not addressing, we don't even think, we never even, it never even crosses our minds collectively, uh, culturally, that the skin cell membrane is the culprit behind our dry skin, as well as all our, our other skin cell issues, as well as all our other health issues. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this break. Don't go away.
Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have all our lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you're using your skincare products and you can't figure out what's wrong and you need some help, we're here for you. If you have questions about uh, your supplements or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. If you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, we're here for you as well, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, and you can purchase all your favorite longevity products off the websites. You can also call 866-735-2470. For more information, 866-735-2470. Okay, so we're talking about the skin as uh, the hidden life of the skin, the secret life of the skin. You look at your skin, it doesn't look like much is there. It's just, I don't know, what do most people think of when they look at their skin? I, I've been studying it for so long that I have a kind of, you, probably a, a weird, rare way of looking at the skin. I wonder what most people see when, when, uh, when they look at the skin. It doesn't look like much is happening. It just looks like it's sitting there. But oh my God, is there so much stuff happening? The idea that it's inert and it's just a covering, a canvas, is what allows us to smear crap on top of it. Not even think of what we're smearing. How many people know what they're smearing on their skin? How many of us know what even uh, 1% of the ingredients on a skin ingredient deck are? If that, any of the ingredients. You know how we make our decisions? We rub it on our skin and we go, oh, that feels nice. That is the silliest thing you could do to your skin. You talked about the skin as a brain. Can you imagine rubbing a cream on your brain? And not paying attention to what you're rubbing on your brain? This idea of the skin as a brain is not... If you understood cell chemistry, you probably knew about it. But it's not in the mainstream. Mainstream, we don't think about it. Yet, there's a lot of reasons to think of the skin as a brain. Continuing from this article of Dermatologica Sinica from April 2015. Skin cells express a variety of environmental sensors... There's sensors in your skin. Your skin is sensing the environment. It's a sensor. It's sensing temperature. It's sensing mechanical stress. It's sensing chemicals. It is a, a secretes, quote, a series of neurotransmitters, brain chemicals. Yes, your skin makes brain chemicals. It secretes, a, a, quote, a series of neurotransmitters and their receptors that are known to play crucial roles in the brain, unquote. That means it's communicating to your brain. There's crosstalk between your between your brain and your skin. Your skin's talking to your brain. Your brain's talking to your skin. Quote, the skin can also secrete a range of hormones and neurotransmitters that influence emotions and whole body state. Our skin controls our emotions. Our skin controls the state of our entire body. We need to be giving the skin some love here. (laughs) We need to be respecting the skin. Respect the skin. Love the skin. It's an amazing organ. The skin, uh, skin cells generate electrochemicals. They're generating an electrical charge. They're all the, com- uh, reading from this article here, quote, all the components of the hypothalamo pituitary adrenal, that's called the HPA axis, is your stress axis. The HPA axis controls stress and the stress response. All the components of the stress and stress response system are in the skin. Finishing up, quote, it is clear that the epidermis has many of the functional activities of the brain in addition to sensory symptoms, systems for multiple physical and chemical and environmental factors, unquote. The skin is a brain, and it's a brain on your body, and it's a brain on a cell. A cell membrane is the, skin cell, is the, is the cell's skin, and it's the skin cell's skin. Don't mean to be confusing here. And the skin on the cell... The skin on the skin cell, the membrane of the cell, controls how a cell is going to grow, how a cell is going to divide, and how a cell is going to rise to the top. And this process is this whole process of cells growing and dividing and rising to the top that we've been talking about now. That's called keratinization. And this whole process of moving upward to the top, keratinization, 
this whole process is where skin problems begin. Most skin problems begin. In fact, disruptions at this level are either the direct cause or they're a main feature of almost all skin health issues, including acne. Yes, acne is a keratinization issue. Psoriasis, yes, psoriasis is a keratinization issue. Most types of eczema and dry skin. Pretty much every skin health issue you can name is going to have some kind of defect or involve some kind of defect, either at the causal level or as a, as a main feature of this movement of cells from the bottom to the top. Keratinization, movement of the cells from the bottom to the top, and this movement of cells from the bottom to the top is controlled by the membrane, which means... Fixing up that membrane, working on nutrition for the membrane, taking care of that cell membrane, and there's lots of ways to do it. That's how you take care of your dry skin. You have four main characteristics of dry skin. You've got the barriers not being formed correctly. You've got a deficiency of skin fats. You've got a deficiency of, of magnets, water magnets, water sponges. They're called the natural moisture factor. And you've got ineffective transport of water up the, through the skin cells upwards. It all involves the skin cells. All four of these characteristics are about the skin cells, skin cells that are somehow unhealthy, skin cells that are somehow not growing, dividing, rising to the top effectively, not keratinizing defect effectively. Dry skin is a keratinization issue. All disease is cell disease, and that means all skin health. And dry skin is not a disease, obviously. But it's a problem. It's a pathology. And all disease, if all disease is cell disease, Anything that goes wrong in your skin is skin cell disease, and that means skin cell membrane disease. I know dry skin is not a disease, but nobody should have dry skin. No human being is supposed to have dry skin. There are systems in place that keep the skin from being dry. It's not just because you come to Colorado from Miami. That's supposed to be adjusted for and taken into account by the skin. It's not because it's winter time. That's supposed to be taken into account by the skin. It's not because you got the wrong moisturizer. There's no good reason to put a moisturizer on unless you just need instantaneous relief, and you'll get some of that. So if all disease is cell disease, all, skin, all cell disease is cell membrane disease, and I've been talking about membrane health and, and not just the membrane of the cell, but as we said yesterday, inside the cell there are membranes. All the little components inside the cell have membranes. There's... there's <laughs> It's like uh, one of those Russian nesting dolls where there's a, every time you open a doll, there's something inside of it. And there's another doll and you open that up and there's another doll. And it's like, that's the way the body is. You get the skin, then you have the cell, then you got the organelles inside the cell. There's probably little organ organelles inside the organelles we, we have yet to discover. But there's membranes everywhere. And the magic is in the membrane. The health is in the membrane. You've got to focus on the membrane. The membrane needs to have the right constituency to do its work. So if we're talking about important the membrane is, we've got to know what the membrane is made up of. The membrane is made up of fats and protein. And this is, I'm not even going to get into this, but I'm just going to leave you with this, because this is unbelievable. On top of our cell membrane, there's another membrane. <laughs> there's a membrane on top of the membrane, and that membrane is made up of sugar. So you got your cell membrane, and then on top of that, there's another membrane made up of sugar. That membrane is 100 times, maybe 1,000 times thinner than the first membrane. That sugar membrane. I'm not going to get into that because that's just too, that's just too mind-blowing. We're going to stick with the fat membrane, the main membrane on a cell. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines, uh, lots of lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the Bright Side, call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. And if you'd like to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, they're all up at truthtreatments.com or Truth Transdermal C Serum. Voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar Magazine. That's serious, folks. Harper's Bazaar Magazine voted little old Truth Transdermal, Transdermal C Serum made by Pharmacist Ben in Boulder, Colorado for uh, as one of the top 150 products on the planet. 
Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Retinol 5% Gel. We're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, and now our new Truth Transdermal Biomimetic Mineral Priming Mist made with fulvic minerals, $39 for a bottle. Helps facilitate the penetration of active materials through the skin into skin cells. That's the role of fulvic acid, or one of the main roles of fulvic acids, is to nutriate the cells, and it does it incredibly. Not only nutriates the cells, by the way, it hydrates the cells. It makes the cells nice and plump, and when the cells are nice and plump, they do their work much better. The water inside the cell and the water and mineral balance inside the cell, it's a kind of combination between the water and the minerals inside the cell, play a major role in how well that cell is going to function internally. That's why, uh, that's, one of the main re- that's one of the main jobs of the membrane is to let water in so that it's uh, into the inside of the cell to control the activity inside a cell. Cells become more active when they're hydrated. And the membrane facilitates the movement of uh, water and minerals. First minerals go in and then water. Minerals pull water in. And so minerals and water are really super duper important for the, not, just the, the, um, uh, not just preventing dry skin, but for the functioning of a skin cell, for the functioning of a cell. Cells require water and minerals for them to grow and divide and do their work. Fulvic minerals help m- improve, they facilitate the hydration of the cell and the mineralization of the cell. The hydration and the mineralization and the vitaminization because vitamins are also uh, involved in, uh, the part, are also a part of the structure of the fulvic acid molecule. That's stuff I'm telling you, you guys. The fulvics that are in dirt and the stuff Doc's, Doc's been talking about now for 40 years, 50 years, 60 years probably, that is the fundamental element in, in good health. Vitamins don't work without those minerals. The minerals are primary and they have to be active living minerals, soil minerals, microbe and plant uh, processed minerals. Especially those microbes. Without those microbes, without that bacteria in the soil, without the bacteria in the soil, we, can't, we cannot be optimally healthy because we are not going to have the living minerals. It's so interesting how all of life depends, all of human life, all of higher life, and I'm putting that word higher in quotes because it's not really a hierarchy. All, it's more like all life forms are parallel, not in a hierarchy, even though we're we're led to believe we're superior life form. We depend on those bacteria. Reading from uh, Science News, one of my favorite magazines. Real easy to real easy to read if you like science stuff, but you don't want to wade through scientific journals. Science News Magazine, along with New Scientists, are two really cool magazines that um, that make science that take really high-powered scientific ideas and research and make them real easy to understand. This is from Science News, 9:30. Uh, 9-30-17, September 30th, 1917. Tests in mice show that microbes in the gut may tamper with the production of molecules in the brain that control anxiety. Your gut microbes control how the brain functions. The gut microbes talk to the brain. These gut microbes are so important. They're just as important as our cells. In fact, there's way more. There's 10 times more of those little microbes, those little bacteria living in our body than there are, than there are regular cells. And these little cells com- control almost everything in the body. These little bacterial cells that live in the intestine control almost everything in the body because of their interactions with the brain. They talk to the brain. They tell the brain what they need. They tell the brain what kind of food to eat so that they can have the food. These little micro- It's almost like we are just a carrying case for these microbes to get around. These little microbes communicate to the cells of our intestine. They communicate to the, our immune system. These little microbes make vitamins. These little microbes, check this out, they live on our skin and they talk to other microbes on other people's skin. Microbe to microbe. Our bacteria in our body talk to bacteria in other people's bodies. We are all walking around with a cloud of bacteria all around us. And that bacteria is communicating with other bacteria. This is mind-blowing. And you don't think, and by the way, the major source of, the major, um, the most important source or, or the most important, the home, I should say, of these bacteria is our intestine, our gut. Yeah, you got bacteria on your skin, lots of it. You got bacteria in your nose. You got bacteria on your eyeballs. You got bacteria in your lungs. You got bacteria everywhere. But the, the headquarters is the intestine. And this is why digestive health is so, so important. 
Without good digestive health, we are not going to be healthy at the level of those microbes, the level of the bacteria in the gut. That's called dysbiosis. And you can rest assured that there is always an element of dysbiosis in all chronic long-term degenerative disease. Not just an element, but a cause. It is the cause. It is the primal cause. It is the first point on the triangle of disease. And messed up gut bacteria, dysbiosis, begins for most of us at birth. That, in a nutshell, is why we're not as healthy as we need to be. And if you are pregnant or you're planning on having a baby, please focus on your intestinal health because as goes your intestinal health, mothers, mothers-to-be, so does your baby's health go. So we want to make sure, mom's got to make sure that they're eating correctly, they're avoiding problem foods, they're repopulating the gut with fermented foods and, and probiotic supplements. But you know what? Everybody should be doing that. We all should be focusing on gut health. If nothing, we don't do anything else for our health. Focus on gut health. And it's as simple and as easy as not eating. It's as simple and as easy as not as fasting for a couple of days. Obviously, you have to eat. But I'm saying fasting for a day or two. Fasting for uh, one to two to even three days. Doing a swear OB cleanse. And eating less food. Reducing your caloric intake. And only eating food that the microbiome loves. And I'm talking about the good bacteria, not the bad bacteria, because sugars in plants, sugars in plants can, can also cause dysbiosis. And by plants, I'm talking vegetables and fruits, for you vegetarians out there. For the vegetarians out there, please be aware that fruits and vegetables can throw off that gut microbiome as much as any other food, to- as any food allergen or food toxin. There's something called the FODMAPS diet. The FODMAPS, F-O-D-M-A-P-S. The FODMAPS diet is something you want to look into if you've been diagnosed or you think you have something called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, which is pretty much everything. S-I-B-O is a small bac- intestinal bacterial overgrowth, like dysbiosis. It's a form of dysbiosis. Is, uh, it, almost everybody has that. Any, almost everybody who has a chronic degenerative disease is dealing with that condition. So you might want to look into the FODMAPS diet, which is a diet where you avoid fructosaccharides, oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols. Those are all very interesting forms of sugar. The polyols are things like sorbitol and xylitol, which a lot of people have problems with. All right, 844 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you when we come back from our break, which uh, we will take a break right now, and we'll get to your calls here momentarily. So stick around. We've got more good health information coming at you on the bright side. On the bright side, I'm pharmacist Benny. Four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Time to hit the phones, and we do have lines open for you. Let's go to Colorado and say good morning to Jim. Hey, Jim. Hey, Ben. How you doing? What's going on, man? I talked to you yesterday. Was that you? Yeah. Hey, I wanted Jim. you to address the uh, stage two kidney uh, uh, that the kidney? doctor told me over there in Longmont that I had stage two kidney failure. Okay, kidney disease. It's not kidney failure yet. The yeah. Kidneys, yeah, the kidneys are remarkably re- uh, resilient. You can, you can function without any problems if you're even down to like 15% or so. I think kidney, kidney failure is 15% or so, uh, f- 15% functioning. So your kidneys, you got two of them, first of all. And then even if, uh, even if they're 85% gone, you can still get by pretty well. It's only when it's deter- you've deteriorated a long way that you really run into big problems. Although, obviously, if you're already, the process has already begun, that's not a good thing. Um, so you, wanna, you definitely want to take care of that. Diabetes is the number one cause of kidney problems. That's because sugar destroys the tiny little blood vessels. In the, in, he said in, I was sure. pre-diabetic. Well, forget pre and diabetic. There's no cut. They they have this artificial cutoff point based on their statistics and based on insurance company protocols. Your sugar's right. messed up. So pre-diabetes, diabetes, whatever you want to call it, you know, you got to uh, you got to address your sugar. Now, high blood pressure is also associated with kidney disease, but it's kind of like a chicken or an egg sort of thing because the kidneys regulate the blood the blood pressure. So it may be that the high blood pressure is secondary to the kidney problem. It may, can also be that the high blood pressure causes the kidney problems because the blood vessels are so tiny in there. You don't want high pressure going through there. 
Uh, if you're running high cortisol, that could be an issue. So it, it comes down to the triangle of disease. All, you know, and, and by the way, your skin, the, your skin issue, the dry skin, right. really severely dry skin that you had, that's all linked up to it. Your blood is okay. messed up. Remember, all disease is cell disease, but all cell disease is preceded by dirty blood. So we got all right. disease is cell disease, but cell disease itself is, is the result of cell membrane problems. And the cell membrane depends on the blood and the cell, too. depends on the blood for nourishment. It depends, depends on the blood for cleaning out. And it depends on the blood for oxygenation. Once the blood becomes toxic, then the cells can't do their business. Now, the kidneys right. are processing or cleaning the blood. That's their role. So they're going to be susceptible to blood toxicity more than any other part of the body. So kidney disease, it's no, it's, you know, there's a reason why 10% of us have kidney disease, and that's because, or more probably, and that's because of this epidemic of dirty blood. So what you got to do, Jim, is you got to clean the blood. Now, you're very, I, I met you, and you're, you're looking pretty good. So for a guy who's got all these health issues, your body, you got a good, strong body. You know what I'm saying? You, your your uh, chemistry is really powerful. You got good, you got good biochemistry. That's all good news for you. That means you can kick this thing pretty quickly. You know, get okay. on a go, go on the keto. Have you tried the ketogenic diet? Yeah, I'm just on the verge of starting that. Really. What What, what have you done like in terms of your diet? Well, How did your skin improve? That. How did your skin improve so much? Uh, I you don't know. know. You don't know. Okay. I mean, so I, not... I, I, I really didn't change my diet. You know, I was, I told you a uh, year and a half ago, I was doing all this juicing and stuff and yeah. eating, you know, organic. Yeah. And uh, now I'm on uh, the, you know, Dr. Wallach's products. And uh, I wanted to ask you what else you thought I needed to take. Uh, I'm taking uh, the, the liquid minerals. I'm taking the osteo FX. I'm taking tangy tangerine. I'm taking the, uh, EFA, uh, you know, the uh, fish oil, uh, EFA plus, and then I'm taking a bio alert. I'm taking... Uh, what kind of fats are you... Where, I'm not hearing any fats. Where's your fats? In the uh, EFAs, essential fats. Oh, oh, you said EFAs. Okay. How many EFAs are you doing? Six a day. You might want to... You, I would double that. Take 12 a day. See if you notice a difference. Okay. Okay, and then what about vitamin E? N-A, for that matter. E and A. E and A? E and A. Oh. E and A. Vitamin E. Oh, e and A. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Vitamin uh, E. No, I'm not taking any separate supplements. You know, I'm sure that's in some of these products. No, no, no. Get on 400 IU of, to of tocotrienols and get on 20,000 IU of vitamin A. Both very important for building cells. Okay. Vitamin A is... The ultimate skin cell vitamin. The ultimate okay. skin cell vitamin. You, any health condition, any skin, any skin health condition, you think vitamin A. And did you say zinc? I'm not taking separately zinc. So you gotta take Probably. them separately. Yeah, that's you're raising a good point here. The uh, the mighty ninety essential nutrients that you get in the Healthy Start Pack and these other formulas, they don't give you the big doses that you need for specific things. So, right. for example, zinc, you really need a big dose. 50 milligrams of zinc is a good place to be. There's so many things zinc does. You're not going to get enough zinc in the Beyond Tang Tangerine, in, all these, in my opinion, anyway, in all these other products. Uh, so you've got you to take extra on that one. You've got to take extra vitamin E. You've got to take extra vitamin A. There's, there's a few that you're going to want to take extra, especially given that you have that, this things going on with your skin there. All right. Well, how much uh, zinc did you say? Five zero fifty. 50. 50 milligrams. Zinc picolinate is the best form. There's also another form called zinc monomethionine, M-O-N-O-M-E-T-H-I-O-N-I-N-E, -O -O -E, methionine, zinc monomethionine. And uh, that one's a good one, too. It's a little pricey. Zinc picolinate is really, it, it's so ridiculously cheap zinc. It always blows me away how inexpensive zinc is and considering all the stuff it does. So zinc picolinate will cost you pen, not even a penny a day. And uh, or maybe a pen, maybe like ten cents a day. So like five to ten cents a day, probably can, something along those. Yeah. Ben, can you cleanse? Can I cleanse my kidneys? Or you know, are yes. they congested? Okay. No, you can't cleanse it like that. You can cleanse it by stopping the putting the crap in there. Yeah. And I don't mean that sounds harsh. I didn't mean that like to sound harsh, but just <laughs> but just stop putting the stuff in your blood, and that comes in through the digestive system. It, it really is. You know, you're an engineer, right? It, it, can you see the simplicity of all of this, Jim? Yeah. 
Right. It's not complicated. The body is a high, hydrodynamic, a hydrodynamic system. It, in other words, it's a, a fluid system. It's fluid dynamics. Did you ever study fluid dynamics? A little bit. College. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Right. How how fluids move is the study is, is the uh, is a, uh, people spend a lot of time. It's a, uh, a a source of a lot of energy in terms of study energy and research energy. Fluid dynamics. How fluids move. When fluids move, they conduct all kinds of interesting energies, and they move in certain ways. And the body is 60% fluid, 70% fluid, 60 to 70% fluid, somewhere in there. So fluid dynamics plays a major role in the health of the body. And when I talk about dirty blood, I'm essentially talking about impaired fluid dynamics. I'm talking about fluid dyna uh, uh, the body's fluidity right. being disrupted somehow. The kidneys are the ultimate in fluidity because that's the, your water organ. So uh, obviously, if you have a fluid dynamic, uh, a fluid dynamic problem, if you have a disruption in your fluid dynamics, it's going to affect the kidneys. So all health challenges can be boiled down to improving fluid dynamics, impro improving hemodynamics, hemo meaning blood. Hemodynamics. As the blood moves, it's generating an electrical charge. That electrical charge feeds the cells. The blood is delivering oxygen to the cells. That's how the cells get oxygenated. The blood is delivering nutrients to the cells. That's how the cells get fed. And the blood is eliminating the sugar. It's draining away the sugar. When we're toxic, I'm it's awful. in the blood. Good I'm for totally you. Awful. I'm Good sugar, for you. No carbs, no wheat, no, I'm, you know. All right. Eating's a young man's game, as I like to say. Eating is for <laughs> eating for fun. Is eating is eating's for kids. When you're old, you don't need to eat as much. And and our does, and our need or our our, our predilection for eating uh, for brain health or for our brain to satisfy our brain eating for pleasure is really it's what messes us up because there are companies and, and scientists and researchers and uh, marketers who understand that by tapping into our ancient drives for sugar and our ancient drives for spice and salt and our ancient yeah. drives for specific chemicals they can manipulate us like puppets we're like let, we're, me, let me email you because I feel like I'm Taking somebody else's, so you can All right, have good. Call. Doesn't matter. We're okay. out of time anyway. But it's good to talk okay. to you, Jim. All right, Jim. Okay, take care. You. Take care, man. Yes, and I'm sorry if I left you on hold here. Actually, we never even had anybody on hold. Now that I see, so don't worry about it, Jim. Oh, okay. But that, that was very kind to you. All right, buddy. I, uh, be well. I'm, we're going to wind down. The, we're going to wind down the program. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Please check out all my websites: brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. We got all kinds of uh, uh, blog posts and also news stories as well, especially at pharmacistben.com. Thank you to Robert Lundgren for setting that up. By the way, uh, we also have archived all our Brightside episodes are archived at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. Benfuchsarchives.com. And please check out our Truth Skin Health product at truthtreatments.com and I am now on Instagram actually I've been on Instagram but I'm starting to utilize Instagram so you can follow us at, at hashtag truth treatments on Instagram if you're so inclined and I will be doing Instagram lives which I'm just learning how to do where you're just talking to the phone and I get to uh, just tell you stuff I get I don't get to say on this program or in my presentations or stuff about the latest news I'm going to be on Instagram live so follow me at uh, hashtag truth treatments thanks for listening to the bright side friends I'm pharmacist Ben have an awesome wonderful beautiful spectacular day we'll talk to y'all later bye for now Thank you.